Hello everyone, White Fox here with another game of Spirit Island. So today I'm going to start getting into some two-handed games using some of the new spirits as well as aspects for existing spirits. And I figured the best way to do that would be using some shadowy guys <laughs> with Breath of Darkness down your spine as well as Shadows Flicker Like Flame. I'm also going to be doing a scenario in this one. I don't do scenarios very often, but uh, there are two new scenarios with Nature Incarnate both of which seem very interesting, um, and I wanted to check them out. So today I'm going to be doing Surges of Colonization, just the first difficulty one. So let me go over what this does, uh, and then I'll explain how this is going to work. So Surges of Colonization, let me actually read the description for it instead. Uh, instead of a steady flow of colonists, the invaders send larger expeditions in surging waves of exploration, settlement, and exploitation. Spirits get a bit of breathing room between each wave, but their size may prove overwhelming. Recommendations and notes. Uh, while this scenario can be played on its own, it's meant to be combined with at least a base level adversary, so there is an escalation effect. This scenario makes some types of effects swingier, defend will be useless on some turns, and extra useful on others, uh, and it can be particularly noticeable with fear and event cards. And this some scenario is somewhat harder for spirits with consistent effects that help with either ravages every turn or builds every turn. Uh, so the way this works is uh, with setup changes, I remove one extra, ex I resolve one extra explore card during the initial explore. So the game is going to start with two cards in the build space. Uh, rule changes here: distant expeditions, uh, explorers are a source of invaders for explore cards, not just towns and cities. Surges and ebbs. On even number turns, resolve one extra explore card during the explore step, usually two. On odd number turns, skip the first normal explore. Uh, and there's a reminder card right here, which I'm going to use to keep track of that. All right. And then final surge. If there are not enough invader cards for the final surges and ebbs, use unused stage three invader cards. If none are left, use the highest stage invader cards in the discard chosen randomly. Um, there's also a higher difficulty one where you do three cards uh, each subsequent turn rather than two at once. So I'm not going to do that one. I'm just doing the two. So, uh, And against Surges of Colonization, I'm going to be doing Scotland 3. So Scotland 3 is a difficulty 6. Surges of, ex of Colonization at its lower level is difficulty 2. So this is uh, going to be about a difficulty 8 scenario and uh, game. So we'll see how that goes. I've got everything set up for that, I think. I'm ready to go and uh, and get this started. Um, I'll also go ahead and explain Dark Fire, because I'm going to be using the Dark Fire aspect for Shadows Flicker Like Flame. So Dark Fire here replaces the special rule Shadows of the Han. Every Shadows aspect replaces Shadows of the Han because it's a terrible special rule. Uh, setup change is that you gain unquenchable flames, which is a minor power, and it's interesting that it doesn't replace anything. You just gain that. So definitely this seems like a straight upgrade to shadows. Uh, dark and fire is one. You may treat each moon and fire available to you as one or the other, vice versa. Um, and you choose during each action, which is cool. And you may discard or forget powers that grant moon to pay for fire choice events and vice versa. Uh, and then Frightful Shadows elude destruction. The first time each action would destroy your presence, you may instead push one of those presents instead of destroying it. And then you get a bonus fire or moon, which is cool. Um, so five card hand is going to help shadows a lot. Um, easier to hit, darkness spells the unwary should be good as well. So it's, uh, I've heard it's good. I've heard it's a nice upgrade. So we'll, we'll see how that plays. So part of my initial explore, I do it twice. Um, when I do these explorers, I think I'm going to go silent so I can just speed them up in the in the recording so they don't take quite as long.
Okay, so there we go, mountains and sands. And I think this is going to be especially interesting with Scotland, since when they explore uh, coastal, they explore with towns after that first turn. So on turn three, when I get that double explore, I'm going to get a bunch of towns on the coast, which is going to be pretty dangerous. I'm going to have to, to prep for that. But uh, everyone, otherwise, everything here is set up, so I'm, I'm good to go and get started. And it's been a while since I've played a two-handed game. It'll take me a little while to get into this. So uh, bear with me as I get the complexity figured out. So right here, they're going to build in mountains and in sands. So I want to do what I can to stop that, really. Um, with shadows, I'm going to go growth three. Um, I can get away with that, I think, a little bit, because I do have a fifth card in hand, so it's going to be all right. Uh, because I want to hit Darkness Falls the Enwary, although I do have an extra Moon or Fire, so it's not too bad. Um, so I can stop them from getting someone somewhere, <laughs> either way. Uh, let's see, where do I want to go with this? I probably want to stop them from building an A4, just so they don't cascade their next turn. I don't have to worry about A7, really. A6, I might want to get that Dahan out there, out of there, but um, I think I am okay. And then I do have Unquenchable Flames, which is interesting. But I'm not sure how I want to use that just yet. So maybe I only need one card play, because I still have this bonus fire. Um, so I could underplay as well a little bit, a little bit um, so that I have more cards for next turn when I have three card plays. Uh, getting to this three energy per turn is also going to be pretty useful though. So I might go top track just so I can get that a little bit faster. Um, and especially with this bonus element, I'm going to hit the first level of darkness while well as the unwary even without having that second card play, so I think that that makes it okay. So yeah, let's do uh, let's do top track instead, so I can go for that three energy. Major strategy is usually pretty good against Scotland, so um, if I can get that early, start getting a major, I think that'll be that'll be good. Um, and there's not not much that I need to do this turn, especially since I don't have presence in their lands. Really, it just didn't really work out that way, unfortunately. I guess I could get two to Han over an A1. It might be more useful than having them in A6, especially in Scotland. Uh, but I can't get enough there, really, so. So maybe Unquenchable Flames and start getting some, some Badlands out might be good. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, yeah, Badlands on the coast is going to be pretty good in this game, I think, so I'm just going to go with that. Um, so that is my turn with Shadows. Now, Breath of Darkness. The last time I played Breath, or maybe the only time I played Breath so far, I went for a top track build because I wanted to empower the Incarna right away. That might still be okay against Scotland because I can... I can kind of suck up those coastal towns that they that they get, but I don't know, it might be might be good to go bottom track too. Um, so I don't really need the move presence just yet. Getting to three card plays early seems pretty strong. So that's not too bad. Uh, and getting that extra moon I think is pretty helpful. So I might go straight bottom track and rely on this uh, third growth option for energy. So let's do that. I'm going to add a presence at a range of one. Let's uh, see, mountains. Mountains, mountains, OK, cool. Um, so yeah, let's go. I can do some abductions. But I can let these go. I think that's that's all right. I don't have to worry about them too much. Let one of them go at least. Hmm. 
Uh, Reach from the Infinite Darkness is going to be pretty cool to play on Shadows, actually, giving an extra range. So that might be neat for next turn. Terror of the Hunted is cool. Yeah, these powers are, are very, very neat. <laughs> I think I'm going to uh, go in here. I have a have a plan, kind of. Okay, um, so that's that. I'm going to... Uh, I can add or move my Incarna to a land with my presence, which I'm going to not do. Uh, one piece is going to escape from the Infinite Darkness, so I'll have that escape into F5. And then I gain energy equal to card plays, which is two, uh, plus one additional for presence. And I'm going to play Swallowed by the Endless Dark. And. Terror of the Hunted. Okay. I'll probably gain a power card next turn. Yeah, I think that's I think that's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's do that. Next up, I'm going to go with. Uh, fast powers. So I've got that all set. So fast powers here, I've got uh, an extra moon or fire. So I've got the first level of darkness swallows the unwary. I'm going to gather this explorer into A5. Uh, then I've got leave a trail of deathly silence. Oh wait, I've got uh, my move a presence just for my presence track. So I'm going to move my incarna over into F4. Um, and then I've got Leave a Trail of Deathly Silence, so I'm going to do one damage here at my Incarna, which is going to abduct that Explorer. Uh, and then I'm going to push my Incarna into... Let's see, I wanted to go back into F2. Or I could use it to stop the Ravage, but it's not going to counterattack, so I don't really need to do it into... Uh, to F8, right? Yeah, let's go with, uh, let's stick with F2. I think I'm alright with that. Okay, uh, then I've also got uh, Swallowed by the Endless Darkness, so it's two fear, and Abduct one Explorer, so I'm abducting this one. And those are my fast powers. So now we go to an event, flip for timing. Not resolved. And then the invader phase. So they're going to build in mountains and sands. Okay, done with the builds. Uh, they're not exploring this turn, so I don't have to worry about that. Get a little reprieve while I try to uh, set stuff up. So now we go to, um, I'll flip this over though, so I know next turn I get an extra explore. Alright, so now slow powers, I'm going to do Inquenchable Flames here on the coast. I have the threshold, so I'm going to add a Badlands there. Uh, one damage to towns and cities, which does not heal at the end of the turn, and one fear. Then I've got... Terror of the Hunted, so I'm going to use that on F2. So if beasts are present, which my incarnate counts as, I do one fear and add one strife, and then add one strife per terror level. So I'm going to add two strife into this land, and hopefully be able to get some Han in there for counterattacks once that inevitably comes up. All right. And then after that, I've got Lost in the Endless Dark at its first level. So I may uh, do one Fear per Invader there, which is two. And I may downgrade one Invader, which will remove one of these Explorers. So 
that's all right. And those are my, all my slow powers. So I'm going to discard those cards and go back to group. So now with shadows, um, I'm good on energy. So I'm going to gain a power card, add a presence from bottom. Well, let's go over here. I'm just going to gain a miner for right now. So I'll have four energy. I don't want a major just yet. Um, so I've got a good one, actually. This one's got moon and fire, which is great. Rates of the land's rejection. Invaders do not build and target land this turn. One fear per town or city, or one fear per Dahan, whichever is less. Or push up to three Dahan from target land. That's a very good one. It's two range as well. And I can give myself extra range, so... Um, Drywood explodes into smoldering splinters is okay. Uh, Favor of the sun and starlit dark, eh. And uh, tormenting rot flies is pretty good. But I think I'm going to go with uh, rights of the land's rejection. I like it thematically for shadows too. It's it's a a good one, especially for dark fire. I think. All right, I get one energy, two card plays. So, with that, let's see, they're not building, but I can push stuff around. I'm going to do Concealing Shadows for sure. Zero. As well as, probably Favors. I don't really have a great place for Favors, unfortunately. Maybe Mantle of Dread. Hmm. Well, I could save that to Han over an A6. That might be better with Rites of the Land's Rejection. Let's, let's do that. So doing this, I'm not going to have the second level of darkness while well as the unwary yet, unfortunately, but that is okay. Yeah, I'm going to be relying on Dahan counterattacks a lot, so I'm, I'm going to save that one to Han. I think that's worth it. We'll see. Okay. So, kind of delaying a little bit, but that's all right. And then I come over here to Breath of Darkness down your spine. Uh, with Breath of Darkness, I'm going to go down bottom track again. I think I want to gain a power card so I can get to three card plays, potentially. So I'm going to uh, gain a minor power. I've got nothing with Moon, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Territorial Strife, probably the best one here. It's got fire and animal. Um, I've, ri I've got nothing with moon or air. Wow, that is a uh, that is quite a draft for Breath of Darkness. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, I don't don't love it, but um, sorcery seeds with hatred. Yeah, let's just go territorial strife. Gonna be a lot of cities on this map, so that's not a bad one. Uh, going from bottom still. Let's go, let's see, this is range three. So I can start going on to the other side of the map. I don't need sacred sites, so I don't have to worry about that too much. So let's just go over there. I get one energy. And 
and I think I'm just going to play all three cards that I have. So Emerge from the Dread Knight Wind, Reach from the Infinite Darkness, as well as Territorial Strife. Because I'm going to be reclaiming next turn anyway. Maybe it'd be better to underplay this turn, gain another power card. Um, yeah, I don't love it, but it is what it is. I can abduct this town in F1, that's no problem. Yeah, I think I think that's fine. So let's go with uh, one energy for that. And uh, then I go into fast powers. So fast powers here, well, let's see, I just move this presence over into F1. Uh, then I can do Leave a Trail of Deathly Silence, so I'm going to do one damage here at this site, which will abduct this town. Uh, then I can push this, which I will do, into this land. Don't have the second level yet. Oh, pieces should have escaped, so this guy would have escaped somewhere, I think I'll just put him uh, in there. All right. Now I have reached from the infinite darkness, so I can abduct up to two presents uh, from any lands in the island. So let's abduct some of Shadow's presents. These guys here. Coming for a ride. Uh, then with Shadows, I'm going to do Concealing Shadows, so one Fear, Invaders in A7 do not, uh, Deton in A7 do not take damage from Ravaging Invaders this turn. So that will clean that one up. Maybe it'd be better just to use that in A6, so that, I don't know, so that at least the town gets destroyed. Yeah, yeah, that, that might be better. So I have plus one range with all powers thanks to Reach from the Infinite Darkness. So I'm actually going to use that over here in A6. Uh, and then I'll use Rights to the Lens Rejection to push this Dahan into A7 so that I have a stack of three there. Um, could potentially get a card that, that does something with that. We'll see. Uh, and I have the first level of Darkness Swallows the Unwary. So let's... Uh, Gather and explore somewhere. I guess I'll do this guy into this land. That's still got one damage. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, those are my fast powers. Let's go into an event for real this time. I've got search for new lands in each lane with at least two explorers. Push one to an adjacent land without invaders. Uh, that'll be fine. So, those will both. Ravage, but do no damage. Those are the other ones. Distant Hunt. On each board, push one uh, beast to an adjacent land with no blight. It deals one damage there. Okay. Yeah, fortunately, my beast is already there. Hmm. Let's move my Incarna into this land. I'll do one damage, and that will abduct that explorer. Oh, it's my power, so it wouldn't abduct. It would actually destroy this guy. That's fine. So my Incarna came to count as a beast. And uh, this one, I'll just uh, go in there and kill that explorer. Okay, of defense. During Ravage, and every land, defend one per Dahan in the land. Perfect. Okay, cool. So that is all set. Let's go... Actually, I knew that that was coming, so instead I'll push my beast in here and kill this explorer. So now this land's defended one. So, save myself a blight. Okay. Um, so now we get the Ravages. So they're ravaging in mountains and in sands. So A1 successfully ravages. A6 is defended one, thanks to that event. Han will take it uh, no damage because of Concealing Shadows. Uh, and then it'll fight back and destroy that town. 
A7, it's defended 3, so I'm going to fight back. Uh, this one's just doing 1 damage. Same with F4. Uh, this one's empty. This one will successfully... Actually, no. Um, defense from Dahan, so perfect. So defense 2, so these Dahan do take 1 damage, but then they will fight back and destroy that town and explore. Um, and then this one does ravage. So I hope you can see the value of just leaving lands with a couple Dahan and a town and explore can be really strong, <laughs> because those events can, can save you for sure on that. Fear cards as well, if I had had any. Alright, so those are all my Ravages. These will get discarded. This time I'm drawing two Explore cards. And we got the Escalations as well to worry about. So the Escalations are going to go on Shadow's board, because it has more coastal uh, towns and cities. Let me go ahead and resolve those, and I'll come back. Alright, uh, then I'm going to throw four Escalation Towns over into uh, board A. So that's a lot. But I can do it and a couple of useful lands. I don't know if I want to put it in the coast or into A3. I think I'll put it in A3. Uh, coast or, or A5, rather. Okay. Um, so those are their escalations and explorers. Now I go into slow powers. Um, I can emerge from the Dreadwind Knight. No, uh, they're not doing anything in, in F2 yet, unfortunately. I wanted them to, but that's okay. So how do I want to do this with, uh, with a merge? Let's merge here. I'll duck this town. Push these two to Han into F2. Still getting ready for a big counterattack there eventually. Uh, territorial Strife I'm going to do over here in F8. So three damage to explorers and towns. That will destroy an explorer in town. Then I've got Lost in the Endless Dark, so it's still just the first level. Um, so it's one fear per invader in the Endless Dark, which is two fear. And I can downgrade one of those invaders. Meh. All right. Yeah, I think that's it. So now we uh, go into the next turn. So I'll discard these cards. And uh, unlike last game, where I kind of put off my reclaim for a while with with Breath of Darkness, I'm going to be doing an early reclaim here, which means a couple pieces are going to escape, but that should be all right. So let's gain my power card first. I'm going to stick with miners, because I am four. Hopefully this time I get something with air or moon, preferably both. So I've got uh, Call to Trade, which is a pretty good one. Don't have any ravages this turn, so it's not a big deal. Um, Gift of Nature's Connection is good, very good actually. Uh, actually, with this, with shadows, that's amazing because uh, I can treat the moon and fire as basically the same. So if I give a moon or fire, it's either or. So uh, Gift of Nature's Connection is probably going to be the play, and uh, getting an element of my choice is pretty good too. So I I like that one. Gain Gift of Nature's Connection. It's also free, and since I'm poor, that's pretty good. Ah, okay. <laughs> that's alright. Um, okay, cool. So that's, uh, that's Darkness's Reclaim. 
It gets its cards back. I can move my Incarna to any land, which I will somewhere. Let's go uh, over here, because I might be able to abduct that city, and that would be fantastic. Uh, these do heal at the end of that turn. So. Yeah, if I can abduct that city, that would be excellent. Um, I also spill out stuff from the Endless Dark, so all pieces escape. So I'm going to have these pieces escape there. And uh, I'll just have everything escape, escape into F5. I think that's safe enough. A4 is an issue, potentially. Okay. Yeah, that's that should be good. I've got my incarnate where I want it. I've got that all set up. Okay, cool. I got one energy. And uh, let's do Shadow's Growths before I go into... Um, into that. So <laughs> Shadow's Growth here. Uh, probably going to be gaining another power card. I think uh, the longer I can get presents, keep adding presents and put off the reclaim, which is not a feel-good space, the better that's going to be. And I think if I get a bunch of elements here, I can probably go with uh, go with top track. Maybe gain a major on the reclaim. We'll see. Could even go a major now. Might be worth it. Yeah, let's let's do it. Um, so I'm gonna add a presence. Let's gain my major first. Hopefully I get a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, so I got Tiger's Hunting, which is an excellent card. I don't know that I have any animal, but I have favors called too. Uh, but even unthresholded, it's not bad. And if I can start getting the threshold for that, that's gonna be that's gonna be great. The others here are a little too expensive. Sweep it in the sea is nice. Fire and Floods is definitely not the play. Um, and Sage Full Hunger of the Swarm is a great card. Um, and with Gift of Nature's Connection, I could Threshold that. It would let me get very far ahead in tempo this game. But I think I want to play a little safer and go with Tiger's Hunting. It's one of my favorite majors anyway, and uh, I'll hunt for miners on the reclaim that'll let me threshold that a little bit easier. So I'm going to forget the right of lands can, uh, rejection as much as I like it. Um, I think it's okay to forget that one. I get one energy. Uh, well, actually, no. I'm going to get three. So I think I will take from top. And uh, let's see, one, uh, so I, I want to get into a jungle again, so I have an easier time targeting with that. Uh, I am in this jungle as well, so that's not too bad, except that I'm surrounded by blade there. <laughs> it's not the, not the best. Yeah, so this will, this will be good. This will be really good. Yeah, I can do some tiger something. Okay, awesome. Um, so six energy, so let's do Tiger's Hunting now. I'll also go with... I think Mantle of Dread is going to be a good one. Or Crops Wither and Fade. I'm not really in many places that are at too high a risk. So Favors would also be good. The Dahan are. That's why I don't like board A for Dahan spirits, because they're all kind of scattered around. Favors Called Do is maybe what I want. I can pull those into F3. Yeah, let's, let's do that. So I'm going with Favors and Tigers Hunting. With Breath of Darkness, let's go with. I'm going to take care of that. Yeah, it was because of the. Uh... Okay, I think. Yeah, I 
actually, I don't love favors here. Maybe, yeah, maybe instead of favors, let's go with crops wither and fade. Should be fine. I'll be able to get to 3-3 next turn, and then I'll be able to reclaim after that. So, um, yeah, I think that's that's probably all right. All right. Yep. Let's let's do that. Nope. I'm changing again. I'm going mantle of dread. <laughs> mantle of dread. I have a plan for. Okay. Cool. So now I'm set with shadows. Now I can play breath of darkness, which has three card plays. That'd be nice. Uh, I don't need Gift of Nature's Connection, probably. It's good, but I, I don't need it this particular turn, so I think I'm fine without that. Although, if I can get some fear, I think that might be good. So let's see, I have... Um, yeah. So it's not bad. So let, let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's think about doing Gift of Nature's Connection. That can stop a build and let me abduct that city, I think, a little bit easier. So let's go with that. Territorial Strife might be good again, but I'm not going to have good elements if I do that. Because I don't have that extra moon unlocked yet. go emerge from the Dreadwind Knight. And let's see, how am I looking element-wise? I need another moon or animal. Moon and animal would be great. Terra the Hunted, maybe okay. Uh, or I could underplay a little bit. No, I do need do need the elements this turn. So yeah, let's go with that. So I'm going with Terra the Hunted and Emerge from the Dreadwind Knight. And uh, these cards that I have in hand will be pretty good next turn for hitting thresholds when I have the Moon going with Growth Three. So I, I think. I think that's okay. <laughs> I think I am uh, in a in a decent position, if not a if not a great one. Um, okay, cool. So with that, let's go ahead and go into fast powers. So first fast power, I'm going to use Tiger's Hunting in this land. So it's going to be two fear, gather one beast, add one beast, one damage per beast, which will kill both those explorers. Uh, and then I can push up to two beasts, which I will do probably both into this land just to make it uh, a little easier potentially for events to deal with that. All right, so that was uh, Tiger's Hunting. I've also got Darkness Swallows the Unwary, so I'm going to target this land here. Well, actually, first, let's do Gift of Nature's Connection, so I'm going to throw two, two fire over onto uh, Shadows. I can uh, take some tokens there just as a reminder. Now those fire can also count as moon for me, which is really good. And for Breath of Darkness down your spine, I get one element. So what do I need? I think if I go for a moon, I'm in pretty good shape. So that'll be the very level of that. Yeah. I'm getting a moon with uh, 
Breath of Darkness down your spine. Okay. Um, so now on Shadows, I'm going to use Darkness Swallows the Unweary. I have uh, a lot of elements, actually. So I've got, like, I've got enough for the second level of this, regardless of what else that I have. So I'm going to target this land, gather two explorers, and then destroy two explorers, which gets me to fear, and another fear card. Alright. Then, I think that's it. Um, no, I've got Leave a Trail of Deathly Silence as well. So, I've got the second level of this now. So I can do one damage at my Incarna, which will duct this city, because it is the only invader in that land. Uh, then I may push my Incarna, which I will do over here. I can do one damage at my Incarna there. And duck that explore. And then I'll push my Incarna once again. Let's do it over here. Cool. Um, so that is that. Let's go to an event. I've got tight knit communities. For the rest of this turn, towns and cities have plus one health. Eh, oh well. Um, Free on the Unweary, that's kind of what I was looking for. Each beast destroys one explorer. Um, this one doesn't do anything. Okay, that's it. But that's still okay. And uh, then add one beast on a board without one. Coming of age on each board, add one to Han to a coastal land with to Han, which is fantastic. Should be able to protect those guys next turn. Maybe. I'm gonna try. Alright, cool. Um, so that's that. Let's go to Fear Carts. Two Fear Carts. Quarantine. Explorer does not affect coastal lands. Well, they're not exploring, so that won't do anything. And then tread carefully. Each player may choose a land with Dahan or adjacent to at least five Dahan. Invaders do not ravage there. Again, they're not ravaging, so <laughs> a little unfortunate with the fear cards, but that's okay. All right, so now we go to the invader phase. Let me go ahead and do all these builds. Okay, builds are done. No explorers this turn. So I go straight into slow powers. So I've got a couple things here. Um, first of all, let's go with Emerge from the Dreadwind Knight. I'm gonna move my Incarna here. Gonna get a good terror for hunted doing this, hmm. but I th I think that's that's all right. Maybe. Oh no, I I do have a good one. Okay, yeah, no, I'm fine. Okay, so yeah, that's that's where I want to go. So I'm gonna move my incarna here. One fear. Uh, if there's exactly one invader present, which there is, I've ducked it, and then I can push up to two to Han, which I will do into a two. Then I have Terror of the Hunted, so I'm going to target this land here. I guess I could have pushed those to Han into this land instead. And I'm hoping to clear out the coast. I think that'll be better. Because Sands isn't going to come up again for a little while, so if I can clear out the coast, that's more useful than clearing out A4 to me. So I'll just kind of delay um, A4 and keep it from cascading. Uh, so Beast are present, so that's why I added two Strife. Um, I also get a Fear for that. Okay, 
So that was Breath of Darkness. I also have Lost in the Endless Dark, so one fear per invader there, which is currently three, so three fear. Um, and I can downgrade one invader. Let's downgrade that city to a town. Cities are a little bit harder to deal with. Oh, one of my poor cities has been chewed. Look at that, it's very sad. <laughs> I think I knew that already. Uh, okay, cool. Then I have Mantle of Dread, so I can do two fear and target spirit may push one explorer and one town from one of their lands. I've got a couple options here. I could do F1 or I could do A7. And I don't mind either of those. I think they're both pretty good options. But I think it's going to be easier for me to get rid of the town in F1 and abduct it. So I think I'm going to do two fear and push these guys out of there. That way, even if I don't do anything to that land, um, two of the Dahan will survive and fight back and kill that city. So that is my plan at least. And those are all my fast power, or all my slow powers. So I'm gonna discard cards, go back to growth. I'm feeling okay about this game so far. Um, I know once I start getting Devil Explorers out again, <laughs> it's gonna be trickier. It's kind of, it ebbs and flows very differently from from the normal, uh, normal games of Spirit Island. Uh, which is cool. It's nice to, to mix it up a little bit every once in a while. Alright, so I'm going to go with uh, Growth 3 here on Breath of Darkness, because I want to get some energy. So I'm going to get uh, energy equal to card please, which is 3. I'll get one for Growth, so I'll, I'll add that right now. I'm going to move my Incarna over to F1. Add a presence from bottom, because getting that moon is going to be really important. Um, it's one range, so I'll probably set up a sacred site somewhere. Maybe, no, I'll just... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> let's go... Uh, let's go over here. I'll get ready to do something there, I guess. Don't really need sacred sites with this spirit, which is nice. Okay. Uh, one piece is going to escape the infinite dark. I'll just throw it into F5. Kind of my dumping ground right now. And then I have uh, three card plays. And a good amount of energy, so I'm going to play my three cards that I have left. No underplaying this game so far. Maybe a mistake, I'm not sure. But uh, it's feeling alright. I'm gonna hit some nice thresholds this turn, so that's that's a good thing. That's that. Okay, cool. Um, so that's that turn. Let's go with uh, with shadows as well. I would like to get up to three card plays. I think I can go for another power card. I got a two-cost major last turn, so I, I could just go another major. Mm, but I kind of want a minor to complement Tiger's Hunting, so hopefully I can get it thresholded next turn when I have three card plays. So let's go for a minor. And uh, major will probably come in a couple turns. Also a defense minor would be good here. Let's see, so I've got Enticing Splendor. Importance of Disaster is nice. It's Moon, Sun, which I need. Call of the Nahan Ways is, is always great. No defense cards. Hmm, that's unfortunate. So I'm not going to be defending here. I might get wiped out. Hmm, I didn't think about that. <laughs> that's all right. Um, OK. Probably Portents of Disaster. Yeah, 
let's uh, let's do it. Let's see what happens. So I'm going Portents of Disaster. Didn't get a. I haven't gotten any defense cards. I need miners for their defense, really, which is unusual. I uh, gain three energy. I'm gonna place a presence. Let's go here, just in case I get something that affects that. And I will play my three cards. Alright, um, yeah, I think that's all set. So I'm going to go into fast powers. So fast powers here, let's go with uh, one one air away from having the the second of duck done swallowed by the endless dark. Oof, okay. That'll be that'll be coming soon. Let's go with uh, Yeah, I don't have a, a great place for that. There actually aren't that many explorers out. Um, okay, well, I'll just do that here. So Swallow by the Endless Dark, so that's going to be two fear. And I abduct an explorer. I'm going to leave a trail of deathly silence. That's going to be right here. Do one damage. Which abducts that. Then push my thing. Uh, then I can do one more damage, which will destroy that explorer. And I could push this, but I don't think I want to. I'm fine with it right there. I'm going to reach from the infinite darkness. So I'm going to uh, suck up two shadow presents. Do I want those two? I don't want those two. Let's do this one. Just one is fine. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to do shadows. So I've got uh, darkness swallows the unwary. There are not a lot of explorers on the map right now. I've kind of cleared everything out. So um, I'll just destroy this one, I guess. Doesn't matter. I've got the second level, so. Don't have the third level yet. So I got a fear for that. I'm going to use Portents of Disaster right here, so two fear. And the next time an invader is destroyed in target land there, I get an extra fear. And uh, hopefully I get some sort of card that does defense for Dahan, because otherwise I kind of screwed up with A2. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens. So, event card. Invaders surge in land on a coastal land on each board. Move one town, uh, one or two lands in land. So let's do this one. That will save that. I can do it there, just fine. Uh, here, I'll do it. Uh, I'll keep throwing stuff into F5. It's been a good dumb grant so far. Okay, that's that. Um, Grim Toll, on each board, choose a land with disease. In that land, do two damage to invaders and two damage to the Han. <laughs> I'm losing the home. Um, I'll do the two damage just in case. And candy defense during ravage in every land defend one per Han the land. That's great. So this is defended four. Hopefully I can get even more defense there. Worked out all right. One fear card, terror level one. Dahan attack. Each player removes one explorer from a land with Dahan. Um, there are no explorers on the board, so that doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so next I go to the Ravage. So they're going to Ravage Wetlands right here. They do uh, four. Uh, they do two damage because that is defended four. So they will destroy one Dahan. Um, all of my presence just get shoved out after that into the jungle because then I set up Tigers Hunting. And then the remaining Dahan will fight back and do six damage and kill both cities. That pushes me into Terra level 2. Um, right here, they'll just lose their stripes. Okay. 
Not as ideal without Dahan counterattacks, but that's okay. Um, right here, they will light the land. Oh, they also blighted A2. I should uh, put that down. Um, so they wipe this land. One of these Dahan will die. One gets injured. But then the remaining two Dahan will fight back and destroy that city. Can't be two more fear. So that was board A. Now board F is a little bit more clear. Um, it's just going to be F3 that ravages. That will push me to a blighted island. Uh, back against the wall. That's <laughs> like actually probably a good one. Um, so each spirit phase, each spirit gains one energy and one card play. And there's only four blade on the card, but I think I'm all right with that. So one energy and one card play is going to be great. So those are my ravages. I can discard these cards. And now I'm going to explore twice. So first is going to be wetlands. Okay, so those are my explorers. No escalations, which is good. And uh, yeah, now I go to slow powers. So I've got favors called do. They're going to be ravaging wetlands twice this turn. Okay. Uh, and with favors, I have extra range, which is nice. So let's go ahead and target F1 so I can get some of these to Honda the coast where they're more useful. That's going to be three fear. Uh, crops wither and fade, so I've got two fear from that. It's got one range, and I can replace one explorer with a town, with a, a one town with an explorer, or one city with a town somewhere. Coasts probably the way to go. Um, I've got an extra range, so let's do this city. No, I might, I might leave that, actually, because Territorial Stripe is going to be good. So I'm going to replace this town with an explorer, actually. Um, so I have an extra range thanks to Reach from the Infinite Darkness, and that's why I can do that into F3. Now I'm going to do Territorial Strife over here on F3. It's going to do 3 damage to towns and explorers. That's me a fear. Um, I've also got Lost in the Endless Dark. Oh, I got an additional fear from importance of disaster. I should get that before I forget it. Now I've got Lost in the Endless Dark, so one fear per invader, which is four fear. Don't have the second level yet, but I do have the first and third, actually. So I'm going to downgrade one of these towns into an explorer. I think it's a little easier for me to deal with that, so that's fine. Um, I get to add a beast there, which is cool. Didn't get to do that last game at all. And I think those are all my slow powers. So I'm going to discard cards and go back to growth. And both of my spirits are in a reclaim this turn. But that is okay, because now I have back against the wall, which is plus one energy and plus one card play each turn. All of these pieces in the Endless Dark are going to escape. Let me uh, gain my power card with Shadows first. Um, and I'm going to do a Minor and then a Major next turn. Okay, let's go Minor. Let's see, they're not Ravaging, so I don't have to worry about that. Delusions of Danger, pretty good, elements-wise and, and everything like that. Uh, Veil of the Night's Hunt, that's not bad. Uh, this would have healed up. Uh, Delusions of Danger. It's another card that makes it a little, a little easier to threshold Tiger's Hunting. Um, but I only have one card with Animal, so Veil the Night's Hunt is probably even better for that. Let's go Veil the Night's Hunt. Especially now that I get extra card plays. Um, okay, so that's that. I get three energy as well.
All right, so I gain a power card with Breath of Darkness. Sticking with miners, just because I don't have a lot of uh, energy. I'm not getting, haven't gotten a single moon air one. So those are all going to shadows, not going to Breath of Darkness. Let's see, Drift Down in the Slumber might be okay next turn. I think I'm okay without it. Thriving Choke Fungus is all right. Stopping builds is good. I might just go with uh, Gift of Power. Don't really love any of these options, to be honest. So Gift of Power, usually the best card there. I'm going to take that. All right, um, all of my pieces escape the Endless Dark. I think I'm OK just letting them keep going into F5. I'll let the beast go there, too. And this uh, explorer, I'll let escape over here to uh, that land instead. OK, I can also move my Incarna to any land. So I'm going to move it there. Because I can abduct that city, which is such a cool, such a cool thing, abducting cities. And I think that's that. I get one energy. And uh, each spirit also gets an additional energy. So let's get two. And another one here. And I have four card plays on each spirit, thanks to back against the wall. <laughs> All right, so what do I want to do with this? I think I want to do Tiger's Hunting. There's no Ravages this turn, so if I can get a little bit ahead of the invaders, that's going to be great. And I can Threshold this for a good amount of damage. So let's go with that. Um, so I need Importance of Disaster, and then I need my two animal cards. So that'll be Favors and Veil the Night's Hunt. It's a good set of cards. A lot of work to Threshold Tiger something. Um, also no fire, but that's okay, because of the way the dark fire works. Now if I wanted to hit the highest level of Darkness Swallows the Unwary, I could. I think. Yeah, if I gave uh, if I gave two fire over to shadows, it would be able to hit the highest level of darkness swallows the unwary, which is pretty cool. I don't do that all the time, um, and that would clear out a one actually. So that's probably what I want to do. So let's go with uh, gift of nature's connection. It's free, so it's fine anyway. And I want to abduct a bunch of stuff. That's that's my goal. So let's go with uh, let's see territorial strife. I don't have to worry about F two, which is nice. Probably just swallowed by the endless dark, so I can start abducting cities some more. Yeah, let's do that. So Terror of the Hunted is a good one. Get that again. And one more card play. Where are my elements looking right now? Um, I would love to be able to downgrade any number of invaders and get that abduct upgraded. So I need an extra air. Air moon. Um, just an extra air, actually. But if I get an air moon, then I can downgrade multiple things, which is Fantastic. So let's go with uh, with one of my Air Moon cards. I think Emerge from the Dreadwind Knight is going to be good. And I won't get to Out of Beasts, but that's fine. Yeah, Reach from the Infant Darkness. Let's do it. Let's hit more thresholds. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be my turn. Should be a fun one. Um, yeah, no Ravages to worry about, so I'm, I'm going to do a lot this turn, hopefully. Let's go with uh, Gift of Nature's Connection first, and then throw two fire over to Shadows Flicker Like Flame. And give a, an air to Breath of Darkness. 
So Shadow Swicker like Flame, I'm using my bonus as fire. So I've got four moon, three fire, and two three air. So that hits the threshold on Darkness Swallows the Unwary, so I can gather a bunch of explorers and do damage, um, which is cool. So I'm going to target a two, gather in that explorer, destroy up to two explorers, get a fear per explorer destroyed, and then do three damage, which goes to four, thanks to the Badlands. So destroy both those towns. Town destruction is two fear, and then an additional two fear just for the ability, because it's one fear per invader destroyed by that damage. Um, I could have used Portents of Disaster there as well, which I would have <laughs> in retrospect. So that's going to be an additional three fear just for that. I can remove that reminder. So that was Portents of Disaster as well as Darkness Swallows well the Unwary. Um, I've got Veil the Night's Hunt and Tiger's Hunting as well. Let's go ahead and do... I can't hit A2 with Tiger's Hunting, unfortunately, but I think that's all right. So let's let's save Tiger's Hunting and Veil the Night's Hunt. Veil the Night's Hunt's probably going to be a push. So I'm going to abduct there, but they are going to build twice, so let's set up for that. So I'm going to push these two to Han over here into F3 with Veil the Night's Hunt. Breath of Darkness has the third level of Leave a Trail of Deathly Silence because I have four moon, uh, three air, and two animal. So I can do Leave a Trail of Deathly Silence three times, basically, the third level. So I'm going to do one damage here and abduct this city. Jump on over here to F2. I guess not jump, just move over. One damage there, we'll destroy that explorer, um, and then I get to do it again. I'll duck this town, and then move one more time into F5. Those pushes, really good. I haven't even used this move of presence, I haven't needed to. Um, so that was Leave a Trail of Deathly Silence. Now I'm going to do. Um, let's see, I've got Reach from the Infinite Dark. I guess I could have used that earlier just to give extra range for things. Let's uh, just abduct one of its presents. That is fine. Um, and then I've got Swallowed by the Endless Dark. So somewhere I'm going to abduct an explorer and then duck, abduct one invader. Uh, but I don't care about abducting explorers, really. I'm abducting cities. It's a higher priority for me. So right here, I'm going to do it. So abduct that city. And get two fear. Which gives me another fear card. So I will have four terror level two fear cards this turn. I'm looking pretty solid. They are going to build a bunch, but that's fine. All right, so that was Darkness Walls the Unwary. I've got Tigers Hunting left. I think that's the only thing. So I'm probably gonna use that here in F5. So it's going to do two fear, add one beast, no beast to gather. Then it's gonna do one damage per beast. So that's three damage, because the Incarna there counts. So I'll destroy an explorer and a town. And then I can push up to two beasts. Let's go here. And here. I guess I may as well. I have them striped, but not a lot of Dahan there, so. Um, so pushing two beasts in there, and then I do uh, one damage in an adjacent land without Blight, which is F2, plus one per beast there, which is two. So that will kill a city for two fear. And 
And I guess I can redo this a little bit. Because this will keep F3 from, from building, which might even be might be great. So yeah, instead of abducting the city from A4 with Swallowed by the Endless Dark, now that I'm here, I'm going to swallow the city from F2. So we'll have a, a city with a strife swallowed by the infinite dark. That's cool. All right, I think that I think that sets up better. So this board's looking pretty good. So I've done tiger hunting. I've done all my fast powers. So I am good to go into the invader phase. So let's go with an event. New species spread. Um, new plants and animals. So I have a lot of moon out. I have, I have I have eight moon out. So it's free to just transmute. So uh, one fear per player. That's so much moon out. It's crazy. Um, on each board, add one beast to a land with towns and cities, which is awesome. Let's go here. And there. New diseases on half the boards rounding up. Add one disease to a land with both Tahan and invaders, um, which is just this one, I think. I could stop one of those builds. I would lose a Tahan, but that's probably worth it. it a little easier to deal with um, in the future. And then offerings of Pattern Dance. Each spirit with at least two to Hanuman its lands gains one energy. I think both do. Um, actually, no, Shadows is kind of shifted around, so it doesn't have that anymore. But I need the energy more on Breath of Darkness anyway. Did I gain energy with Shadows this turn? I don't think I gained my three energy, because I should have a lot more. Um, I'll watch it on the replay. Maybe I did. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, it's, it's fine either way. Um, so, four fear cards. Terra level two. Unfortunately, Terra level two fear cards can't get rid of cities, so I'm not going to win. But that's all right. So, I plan for departure. Each player may gather one explorer or town into a coastal land to defend two in all coastal lands. Um, they are not going to be... No, no, unfortunately I can't stop the build over an A2. I can stop one of them. I can make it so they just build a town there. That's probably okay. I'll deal with A3 a little bit instead. Yeah, I've got so many beasts there that that's a little easier. So let's do that. So I'm going to uh, gather those two towns in there from each player. Um, Fine. Uh, Discord. Each player adds one strife in a different land with at least two invaders, and then each invader takes one damage per strife that it has, uh, which will apply to the infinite dark. One damage on that city. <laughs> different land with at least two invaders. Okay, well, let's get it in here. One damage to it. Those coastal towns. Okay, so that's Discord. Depopulation on each board, remove one town. Great. Dahan raid, each player chooses a different land with Dahan, one damage per Dahan there. Well, um, <laughs> I've kind of unfortunately maneuvered all my Dahan away from the invaders now, so that doesn't do anything. All right, no ravages, but we do get the double build, so they're going to build in wetlands twice. So they will um, build there. So coastal and wetlands. Fortunately, there's a city adjacent to all of those coastal lands, so I couldn't stop those builds. But that's okay. Um, and then here there actually is a city adjacent to that. Uh, but it's not going to be a build here or here. All right, and this is my no explore turn. So 
And they're gonna explore twice next turn and ravage. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think I'm in a pretty good position though. Alright, so now I go into slow powers. So I have uh, a couple things here. Let's do favors called do in F3. That'll be three fear. And I'm getting close to terror level three. There's only a couple cities left on the board. Uh, with Breath of Darkness, I have a couple. So let's do Lost in the Endless Dark first. Yeah, I can't abduct. So Lost in the Endless Dark first. So it's going to be one fear per player for Invader, which is three. Uh, then downgrade one. And then I have the second level as well. So I'm going to do one fear and per invader again, which is another three. That is so much fear, wow. Um, and then downgrade any number of invaders, so I'll downgrade all of them, because why not? Um, and then I also add a beast there, because I've got two mana left. Okay, I've also got Terror of the Hunted, which has your range, so I don't have a fantastic place to do this. Yeah, I should have moved my presence somewhere more useful, but that's, that's okay. I've already made my choice. Um, so Terror of the Hunted instead, so I'll, I'll do that uh, here, I guess. So it will uh, do one fear and strife uh, all of those things. All right, so that's that. Uh, I think I'm good. So I'm discard cards and go back to grow. Lose my elements. My moons and mountains all mixed up here in my element box. There we go. All right, so my job here is to clean up cities because I'm in terror level three. So if I clean up the cities, then I win. I could also just push for a fear victory because there's only four fear cards left, and I'm generating like an insane amount of fear per turn between these two spirits, so um, that is fine too. We'll have a couple of ravages potentially this turn. So F3, I would prefer to not have that cascade twice. Um, I can at least stop it once, no problem. Let's go for a power card and add in presence. I'm gonna have four card plays. So I could just go top track. So let's go for a major. I've got, let's see, the Wounded Wild turns on its assailants. Uh, not too difficult threshold. Blazing Renewal. I actually don't have any destroyed presence, surprisingly. So that's not super useful. I think I'm gonna go Wounded Wild turns on its assailants. It's not too difficult for me to threshold, not this turn, but in future turns. And uh, there are a couple places where that'll do some serious work. So let, let's get that. I will forget Veil of the Night's Hunt, I think. Yeah. Oops. I almost put those back in my hand and I panicked and just threw them on the ground. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm going to go from top track, out of presence somewhere, I think in here. And then I uh, gain 5 energy. Thanks to back against the wall. 
Now there are some some things happening that will be scary. So I need to figure out ways to deal with them. Because I've only got four blight left on the blight card, which makes this a little bit tricky. With uh, Breath of Darkness on my spine, I'm going to go growth three, I think. Let's see, I want to get my presence over onto the other board. I don't have great cards, so getting an extra card would be nice. But I think getting my Incarna over is going to be more important, so... So I am going to do this. It's going to be kind of a weak turn. But only one piece is escaping the Endless Dark, so that's not too bad. Um, and I'll get to reclaim, so actually not not all bad. So let's, uh, let's add a presence. Range 1. So let's go here. Um, move my Incarna to a land with my presence, which will be there. I can kind of march along the coast. Oh, this is healed. I gain energy equal to card plays, so that's three plus one plus one, so five energy. I've got oodles of energy, which means that a major is probably coming up next turn. One piece is going to escape the endless dark. Let's make it a beast. Throw that beast into uh, this land. I get to reclaim one card. I think will be swallowed by the Endless Dark. Except that I don't have the extra air. Shoot. So I can't abduct the city with that. I cannot. But I think that's still okay. It gets me a bunch of fear. And, uh... The abduction could still be strong. Let's see with these cards. Yeah, because I want to make sure I have at least two pushes with Leave a Trail of Deathly Silence. So I do think uh, Swallowed by the Endless Dark is going to be okay. Yeah. Alright, so I have my One Piece escaped, reclaimed, moved my Incarna. All good with that, kosher. So I've got uh, four card plays with Breath of Darkness. I will play all four of my cards in hand. Got so much energy to pay for choice events or for my major next turn. I need to do something about that. So what do I have? So these two are taken care of. That's not a problem. Uh, thanks to Breath of Darkness. It's just excellent <laughs> in eight powers. Um, I think I also have a three potentially taken care of. Maybe. I just don't have a lot of fast powers here. So I think I'm going to have to go for uh, Darkness Swallows and the Unwary at a higher level. Concealing Shadows is definitely getting played. Mantle of Dread. Let's see. Wounded Wild turns on its assailants. We'll probably finish off this board if there's anything left at the end of this turn. So that's what I want to go with. Even unthresholded, it's going to be really good. So probably Mantle of Dread. And Crops Wither and Fade, just in case I get a city added. Um, somehow I can uh, downgrade that. Actually, that'll let me downgrade the city here, because I'll push that out. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be good. Okay. All right, I'm going to move this presence over here. So I don't need a sacred site. Yep, yep, I'm good. All right, I think I'm all set up. Let's see, do I have the highest level of Darkness Swallows the Unwary? Maybe. 
I've got three moon, three fire, two air. So yes, I do have it, even without needing uh, Gift of Nature's Connection. So yeah, this extra element really does help quite a bit. Uh, plus the extra card play from back against the wall. So <laughs> let's go into fast powers. Um, I'm going to use Leave a Trail of Deathly Silence right here, abduct this town, shift over, abduct to this town, shift over, <laughs> and uh, just chill there for a little bit. And then I'm going to use uh, Swallowed by the Endless Dark, so I'll abduct this explorer, and do two fear. I'm going to use Darkness Swallows the Unwary. Oh, I don't have the range. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. Okay, so yeah, instead of Swallow by the Endless Dark, I'm going to take Reach from the Infinite Darkness. It's going to do kind of the same thing. Um, I do lose out on some fear, but that's okay. So, um, so two of those fear go back. This guy goes back here, um, and the reason for that is because I'm going to get an extra range on shadows. So let's abduct uh, one of these guys, because I don't need them really. Actually, it's up to. So, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, because I'll be able to build a sneaker site next turn. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so I have uh, plus two range with shadows this turn, which is cool with, with everything. So Darkness Swallows the Unwary. It can pretty much hit the whole island. I'm going to hit this land here, uh, destroy that Explorer for one fear, and then do three damage to this city for two more fear. Actually, three fear. And that's that. Concealing Shadows is going right here. So that's one fear, and Dahan take no damage from Ravaging Invaders this turn. So I won't stop the first Ravage, but the second one I will. So that's going to be the, the important thing. And that's that. So I'm, I'm good to go. So let's go to an event. I've got uh, Seeking, let's see, Local Diaspora. So in the single land with the most invaders, push one Explorer or Town to each adjacent land. That'll be this one. So that's fine. Um, yeah, they'll ravage themselves to death, so that's not a big deal. Alright, um, that means that I don't get all that fear, though. So <laughs> each beast uh, generates one fear if any raiders are present. Okay, let's, uh, let's do that one there. So each beast generates one fear if invaders are present, so that's going to be one, two, three, four fear. And moves to an adjacent land if not. And forsake the barren land. On each board, push two to Han from a land with blight to a land without blight. Great. That actually works out really nicely. That's that one board. It's uh, not a choice. It's you have to do it. That's unfortunate. Fuck. Is that gonna lose me the game potentially? All right. Yeah. We'll see. Because I I don't have a choice for this. So. All right. We'll see what happens. Not seeking the interior. That might, that might lose this game. We'll see what these fear cards do, though, because they are turn level 3. Dahan on their guard. That's good. So, um, in each land, defend 2 per Dahan. Perfect. That will stop that. So, that saves this land from double ravaging, which would uh, instantly lose me the game. So that's perfect. So, defend 4 right here. Uh, overseas trade seems safer. Defend 9 in all coastal lands. Perfect. Invaders do not build in coastal lands. And invade each player may replace one city with one town, or one town with one explorer in a coastal land. Um, yeah, that's fine. So I'll clear it out. But uh, the others I'm going to leave. So. Alright, Ravage in wetlands and coastal. So nothing here. This one 
That will die. Right here. Right here. This is defended now uh, 13, I think. But Han will fight back and kill those two towns. Powerful fear cards. And double explore. I'll just do all the explorers here real quick. Alright, explorations are done. Lots of coastal towns got added thanks to Scotland's ability, but that is okay. Because all I have to do is get rid of the last city on the board, and I win, and I'm going to be able to do that with crops wither and fade. So, um, so now moving into the slow phase, I am going to win. Um, I'll just clean up the board a little bit here. Um, so I've got Wounded Wilds turns on its assailants as well, so I'll, I'll just do that here in A, A4. Um, it's add two Badlands. Um, I'll, I'll do Mantle of Dread to push some stuff in there too. Gather up two beasts. And, uh, yeah, that was too fear for Mantle of Dread. So now I can do uh, Wounded Wild turns on its assailants there, and it's going to be uh, one damage per Blight, Beast, or, wi or uh, Wilds. And there are, I think, one, two, three, four, five Beasts, one Blight, so six damage, plus two for the, uh, for the Badlands. We'll kill the two towns and the city. There are now no cities left on the board or in the Infinite Dark. And we're in terror level two, or terror level three, excuse me, which means that I win. So that was a cool game. I like this scenario, the uh, waves of colonization. It's definitely different. This was only Scotland three, so not a not a high level adversary. Um, and uh, but it made for an interesting dynamic. It definitely changed up the the ebb and flow of the game a little bit, having those turns off, but then those scary turns when they ravage twice double lands and stuff like that. Um, it was cool. I, I wouldn't mind doing this scenario again in the future. So I think next game I'll do another double uh, two-handed game, probably with the other scenario from from this expansion. So you can see what that looks like. I think it's a drafting type scenario, which should be, should be interesting. But hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of Darkfire in the uh, comments below. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it thematically, just because I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. <laughs> it's, uh, I guess, just like a, a smoldering flame that doesn't go out. I don't know. Um, thematically, Shadows is a little odd anyway, so I don't know if that part works for me. And it's really just a straight up raid in power. Like the fact that you get an extra card, you get a better special roll, you get an extra element. Um, it's significantly better than base shadows, just like foreboding is as well. So um, yeah, it's it's a patch to shadows, which is a weak spirit on its own. Um, and as far as patches go, it's pretty good. It, it makes them quite a bit better. I still like Breath of Darkness. Um, I ended with an insane amount of energy this game, which this wasn't really my intention, but it happens. Um, yeah, Breath of Darkness, very cool. It was the one I was looking least forward to for a Nature Incarnate, but playing it a little bit more, I, I, re I really like it. I, I went top track the first game and I enjoyed that. Going all bottom track this game was pretty cool as well. So I'm looking forward to exploring them more and doing more combinations with other spirits with them too. I think they're going to be really cool in bigger team games where I can get more people's presence into the Endless Dark, give me more people that extra range and just spill them out all over the island. Uh, it's a cool spirit. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed this game. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.